I read about a new technique on how to do macro photography this week that involves stacking a wide angle lens that's reversed on the front of a telephoto lens mounted in the standard direction. Uh, this doesn't have to be a DSLR camera. This can work on almost any zoom lens camera. The only hard part really is mounting it. So here you can see with just a regular telephoto lens, you can't really get very close. Or if you zoom out and move the camera closer, the camera can't focus at such a close distance. So what I've got here is a 35 millimeter lens that uh, I bought for $15 from a pawn shop. And the only real thing you're looking for is the smallest uh, focal length you can get. This is 35 millimeters. If I could find a 25 or an 18, uh, those would both be better. But this happened to be the absolute cheapest lens, so that's the one I picked. In order to mount this lens, I use these um, ringed adapters, threaded, uh, almost like threaded washers, that came with my ring light kit. Uh, all they do is they normally thread on the very end of your camera lens using the filter threads and then the ring light would clip onto it. Conveniently, because they're all the same size, I can tape two of them back to back, allowing me to thread the front of my normal lens to the front of this wide angle lens. So now we're looking at this new lens that I put on the front and I'm adjusting the aperture on that lens. I like to keep it as small as I can. This lets you keep uh, the sharpest photo you can. Sometimes, uh, now that we've zoomed in, you'll see that there's some vignetting, which is the black edges along the side. And if you open up the aperture on the lens you've mounted ahead of your camera, uh, sometimes this goes away but your depth of field gets to be very, very narrow and it's hard to take a decent video. So in my case, I've got the iris of the second lens closed up as much as I can. Right now we're looking at that same hard drive board that I showed a few seconds ago, but this time under the heavy magnification of our new lens setup. In order to focus this, I'm using a tripod that has a little crank on it that can bring the camera up and down, and I am using that to focus the, this image. Um, trying to focus it any other way is incredibly difficult. It's easiest just to set it up pointing straight down over top of whatever you want to take a picture of, and then uh, use the crank to kind of rack the camera up and down until whatever you'd like is in focus. Here you can see my setup with the camera pointing straight down so that it can be racked up and down. And right now it's pointing at the blade of my pocket knife. I was pretty surprised at how rough the blade looks given how sharp it really is. Next I had a strand of hair that I put under the camera. And it's even hard to see just with my normal camera, but under the zoom, the, the hair strand actually looks like uh, almost like a thread of plastic. Here we have that 35 millimeter lens mounted on the front of my Casio high-speed camera. Right now it's pointed at the head of a match that uh, I'm about to light on fire and film in slow motion. You can see the black borders in these videos a, lot, a little bit more than in my other ones because I'm unable to crop these given the very low resolution. So for the cost of a cheap wide angle lens at a pawn shop, I can now get uh, incredibly high magnification pictures and videos.